A plane crashes and burns in East Texas, killing the pilot. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Michelle Reese, in for Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Chuck McDonald. Well, you saw it first on CBS19.tv, a deadly plane crash in Emory. It happened just after 2 o'clock this afternoon on State Highway 19, that's two miles north of Emory in Rains County. CBS19's Jennifer Heathcock joins us live on the phone. Now, Jennifer, we understand the pilot has been identified. What can you tell us at this point about him? Well, Michelle, we do know that the pilot's name is John Armstrong. He's an 80-year-old man from the Emory area. We also know from friends of the family that he was a deacon at the Lake Fork Baptist Church. Um, we do know, they, they told us that the airstrip where he was trying to land his plane when it eventually ended up flipping over and catching fire was on his property. And we were also told that he flew that plane fairly often. Now, the call came in just after 2 o'clock this afternoon to the Emory Police Department, to 911, from citizens in the area who had seen a problem with the plane as it was coming down. Um, we also know that within the last hour, the FAA has, has arrived on the scene, and they are starting their investigation at this time. Now, they did not release any new information than we had earlier as far as what happened or a cause to how the plane crash actually did occur. Um, we do know from being out here that there's nothing left on that plane other than just the metal framework of it. Um, and we also know that Armstrong's body has been taken to the Wilson Orwaski Funeral Home in Emory. I see. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jennifer, for that. And uh, uh, so nobody else was hurt, and apparently it did not start a fire that spread into any kind of woods at all. All right. Well, as Jennifer mentioned, the FAA is on the scene investigating what happened today. Yeah, Emory Police, a fire, and EMS are also on the scene. We'll continue to keep you updated as more information becomes available tonight on that plane crash near Emory.